What's up, guys? This is Jason for CryptoSaniac here to report on another day in the market and uh, talk about a few things. Um, let's give everybody a minute to stream in here. I see we've got Heart32 and John H. over on Twitter. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm a little earlier than my normal time, so uh, let's give, let's give, uh, hey, what's up, Sunny D? Yeah, first, you are indeed. Welcome, welcome. And I'll say let's give a couple people some uh, some time to show up. Ryan Jack, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so today, guys, I'm in my T-shirt. I'm in my uh, Cryptosomniac buy, t buy Bitcoin T-shirt. I'm hoping to entice some people to not sell all their Bitcoin today. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, so, yeah, let's get into it. What's happening, Goofy Tutor? Oh, man. Nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> what's happening, Scott, in Montana? What's going on? Arden, welcome, welcome. Jeff B, what's happening from Tonga? Uh, Banger Committee, what's good? What's happening again? Paige Dyer, welcome over on Twitter. What's happening, guys? Um, all right, awesome. Well, it looks like the gang's all here, so let's jump into it. Uh, today was a bad day. <laughs> today was a bad day. We know this, right? Um, the I think the news coming out that the... Um, ETF decision is going to be delayed caused a lot of capital flight. Unfortunately, um, you know, market cap has fallen below the $250 billion mark, which is what we were kind of bouncing around for the last several days. So down to 236. So not, not a huge sell off, but obviously we know what has happened with the price of Bitcoin today. Uh, Bitcoin dominance up at 48%. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, I think people are just going to continue to get out of their alt positions and uh, weather the storm in Bitcoin. Um, 24 hour volumes a little bit better than the day before, but I'm curious how much of this is actually sell volume, right? For 14 billion, because we did see a significant drop off in price today, at least. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we broke right through that 6,800 support like it wasn't even there. And uh, we are now going down to the last big support below before 5K, or rather before 6K. Um, the last major support we have is right there at about 64, and we are coming up on it hard right now so uh, I'm looking at five-day candles Stan and I were looking at this in the uh, in the larger scale before but uh, just to give you an idea obviously it's bad bad news for several days in a row so um, I think we come down we'll see if it bounces off this 64k I'm not entirely certain that it will um, so yeah I, I'm, I'm I'm very disappointed <laughs> I'm very disappointed with this market movement. Uh, not entirely unexpected, but, you know, a man can remain hopeful, can't he? So, uh, anyways, let's say, what else? What's up? Yeah, people should have known. That's that's right. I mean, obviously. I, or or till next year. Honestly, I think it's getting delayed till next year, personally. Um, that's just my feeling on it. I don't have a huge amount of data to do so, but uh, uh, my feeling on it is that regulators are just going to stall the decision until they have to make one. Yeah, I'm with you, Banger Committee. I think I think uh, February is probably what's up with that. So we'll see. Um, we will see. We will see. But I, I suspect we do see further delays. So um, yeah, what what have I seen that looked like it was noteworthy uh, before before Bitcoin decided to uh, take a nap again? I was eyeing some zero exchange actually. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump over to that. So this is what I was looking at. These are just notes to myself here. Um, it looks like it may come into my trade zone pretty quick here. I was looking to pick it up between 11.9 and 12.9 and then ladder out between 13.5 and 14.5. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if it plays out, but it's looking like it's definitely going to come down into my trade range. I may cancel those buys, uh, if it looks like the whole rest of the market's going to continue to crash. So, um, just wanted to to point that out. That was something I saw setting up because this generally this kind of a channel right here um, is going to that, that's this generally indicates that it's about to break bullish potentially. But, you know, as we know, it it, it follows the alpha Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin decides to go down, the uh, the alts tend to follow. So um, anyway, this is still a trade I'll be looking to I'll be looking to enter as of right now. So um, yeah, that's that's a trade. That's that was my notes for myself from earlier. Just wanted to share that with you guys in case. Uh, but you know, again, it's a super tight, super tight stop on that if you uh, do decide to uh, play this game along with me, because I would rather not lose any more money in this market. Personally, um, I've I've taken enough of a beating. <laughs> Haven't you? Don't we all? Right. 
All right, so um, let's see what else, guys. Uh, tell you what, you know what? I want to I want to take this moment to do a little rant, right? And let's let's this is gonna this is gonna actually show you what a, some of the actual value of cryptocurrency is. So let's talk about real life situations. I am paid a salary by Cryptosomniac to do work, to do this, and to do a bunch of other things that I do for Cryptosomniac. So I'm paid a salary, and part of my salary is paid in fiat. Um, so I recently just changed my bank um, to, to get, I, I wanted to change my business banking and uh, I, I got a new bank account and um, I gave Sam the information so that he could set it up for the direct deposit and uh, it didn't go the first day. There was some problems with it and then um, we basically, we finally got everything set up to go and uh, then, you know, it still takes three days for money to transfer. So, uh, you know, I am I am still, and mind you, I want to I clarify this. This is not Sam's fault. I'm not upset with Sam at all. Uh, this is just something I wanted to point out that I thought was uh, interesting, right? So we had to wait. I, I mean, I'm still waiting for my check to come through. Uh, should be should be any time now. Um, but, you know, if this would have been any sort of cryptocurrency, I would have had it in 30 seconds, maybe 30 minutes, like even the very slowest one. If I could have been paid in Bitcoin, boom, could have been done right there. So, you know, banks suck, guys. Like this is this is ultimately what it comes down to because it's going to take all the time. They're holding it. They're making money off the float on my money in the meantime, which is time I could be making money off my money. And, um, you know, it, it's just it's, it's just a real bummer of a deal that they're constantly going to extract massive maximal amount of value just for holding on to my money and moving it around when ultimately we've got this beautiful system in the blockchain that we don't have to worry about that we plug it in we let the math and the electricity take care of it and the funds get transferred and in a much shorter amount of time minutes rather than days uh you know it, it what are we still doing in the system? Like, how is this not more readily adopted? I just don't understand why people don't understand this. So, uh, you know, maybe they don't understand that's how quick it goes. You can send payment. I could send money to the Philippines right now. So we've, just while we're on the subject, I've got a number of contractors that we work with all over the world for all kinds of different stuff. Developers, um, different administrative tasks, uh, copywriting, you know, all kinds of different stuff. And uh, any of them that pay or that accept cryptocurrency, I can pay like that, you know? I, they say, okay, I say, send me the invoice. I send the invoice, I look at it, I verify that they did what they said they did, and then I go over to my, you know, it, I go over to uh, Mew with the ledger and I send them their money and it's done. Like, there's no three days waiting, there's no the checks in the mail, there's none of this horse shit that comes along with the traditional banking system. So anyways, guys, that's, that's what I just wanted to kind of point out is remember, Remember why this stuff has value. Remember why this stuff has value because it's easy to get caught up in the price. It's easy to get caught up in, oh my God, Bitcoin is tanking again or ETH is falling and, you know, etc. It's remember what the actual point of this stuff is, is that we are trying to change the system so that we no longer have to rely on these third parties who are basically just going to continue to extract as much of that value as we let them hold on to as possible for themselves and, and take it out of the economy rather than saying, I'm going to use this little bit to continue to operate this and allow the network to, to set its own rates. So anyway, all right, I'll stop ranting and let's get back to the TA. So uh, yeah, let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? So let's see. Should have known the ETF would be delayed. Yep, probably delayed till February. I agree. Yes, yes. XRP finally broke down. Ah, uh, sure it did. I mean, guys, seriously, XRP. You guys know what my opinion on XRP is, don't you? Get ready for a thumbs down. And before it happens, why don't you go ahead and smash that thumbs up if you like my comments or if you like my content uh, down below. Just go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And also, uh, you know, if you haven't done so yet and you do like our content, make sure to hit the little bell for subscribe so you get the notifications and know when we go live. I've got some pretty cool content coming up this week. Um, you know, it's it's hard to create a lot of unique and innovative stuff like this specifically when the whole market is going down you know it's 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 not the most fun to be like yeah everything is going down again um so i've tried to get back to some more just fundamental education i did a really cool wallet walkthrough video um comparing a couple of different wallets and also comparing them with like Cash App and Venmo and PayPal, and just kind of you know showing where we're at in the grand scheme of adoption. So that should be coming out later this week, and uh, just trying to do a little bit more, just just value um, educational stuff in addition, you know, instead of just 
this is a project we are hot on. So anyway, I hope you guys are interested in that sort of stuff. Uh, I, th I think it's valuable to the community and um, um, yeah, anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over and look at Ripple. You guys know I don't like this token. Uh, I think it's a really good way to give your Bitcoin to the bankers. And uh, I mean, Ripple's been breaking down for quite some time. You know, we had our we had our big pump at the end of the year, and it's basically been following all the other alts since. We had a you know a little mini pump between April and May. Uh, every time there's a rumor that it's going to get listed on Coinbase, it's never going to get listed on Coinbase. But every time there's a rumor that it's going to get listed on Coinbase, people fly into it. I got caught up on that back last year and uh, learned my lesson, but it, it doesn't meet the qualifications. It's not getting listed on Coinbase, guys. So quit, uh, quit falling for it. Quit falling for it is my, that is my opinion on that. So, you know, do what you want. You're adults. You can do what you like with your money, but uh, how many, how many times do you let somebody poke you in the eye before you at least, you know, <laughs> try to stop them anyway? All right, guys. Um, what else do we got? 50k beating yeah that's i'm assuming starscream that you are uh <laughs> re replying to the my comment earlier that haven't we all lost enough money uh whew, that is a beating i i uh <laughs> that's that's painful i i hope that you made a significant amount to uh to go ahead and cover those losses beforehand anyway all right let's see uh just chilling in one chain and nano that's brave those are pretty volatile tokens um i hope you were uh buying those at the you know thinking i'll buy these at the bottom in hopes that they'll go back up but uh i can't say that i would uh i can't say that i would make that move so um let me know how it plays out definitely interested to know um all right we'll see what else uh doo -doo 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 -doo, just chilling under a tree with a cold one yeah might as well jeff i mean really guys it's it, there's no there's no reason to over trade you know there's no reason to go in and just trade because you're bored um, you should trade when you see an actual setup that you are like, this is happening. You know, this, this, this is my opinion anyway. I, I, I'm only going to trade when I actually see some action that I think I can take advantage of. Um, and then I, I'm very careful with it. Again, like you, you saw on my zero exchange, I say pick up between these ranges, exit between these ranges, stop loss here. I'm just looking at what my potential gain is versus, you know, I'll take, I'll, I'll take a 3% loss. If, if, you know, for a potential 20% gain, I'm willing to let that ride. And then I just let it ride, let the trade play out. You know, you can always get out of the trade before you go to your 3% loss, if that's what you need to do. Um, but, you know, worst case scenario, you walk around, the, you walk away from the computer and go to uh, interact with your real life outside of the charts. And uh, the worst happens, 3% is not a bad loss. Um, you know, it's, it, it's all about capital preservation, as Amal likes to say, guys, in, the, in a down market. Really, we're just trying not to blow up our accounts before it turns around. So um, strongly recommend not over trading, right? Just make sure that you are, are very um, intentional with your trades. So anyway, all right. What's next? Well, was it the end? Really about to crash big time? Mostly the same thing since November. Fully wash out over alts. Maybe this is good dead projects may finally disappear yeah that's uh that's fair guys i mean honestly this is so let's let's go back over here and um so i i thought something was funny i, I recently redid our our um uh cryptosomniac advantage commercial and i noticed the the difference in the total cryptocurrencies there's been at least 150 new coins come out since the last time i did a cryptosomniac advantage um commercial spot so that's crazy right that's that's uh Tons of new projects coming into the market, and there's still... All right, guys, if you if you have small children, put your earmuffs on. There's so many shit coins on the market, it's unbelievable. There's, there's so many garbage products, and unfortunately, there's so many people that are trying to do something similar to what we do here at Cryptosomniac, and, and you know, I'm not saying we're special. Obviously, we do sponsored content, but there's so many people that want to have a channel and be able to talk about this and be able to spread information, etc. There's so many people that want to be able to do this that... Um, how do I say, maybe don't have the experience that is required to be able to properly assess whether a coin is valuable or not. You know, if, if you hear people start telling you to get into a coin because it's cheap, or you start telling people, hearing people to tell you just to get into a coin because it's a, a low market cap or something, be wary of that kind of thing. Uh, unless they have a very specific reasoning to go behind it, because it's cheap is not a good reason to buy a project. Um, it has a low market cap is not a good reason to buy a project unless you're in a pump and dump group. And as you know, on Cryptosomniac, 
we do not condone pump and dump groups because that's terrible for the industry and that's just going to continue to have more bad feelings and end up with further downtrends so pump and dumps are short-term greedy for a very few people and realistically how much money are most of the people that are involved in these groups really making it's not enough to change your lives and it's enough to destroy the industry that you're able to make money off of that doesn't make sense does it anyway all right i'll stop ranting i know i'm, I'm definitely good for a rant today guys when there's no when there's no proper content i'll at least uh expound on my uh my viewpoints i guess so anyway uh yeah um let's go ahead and uh smash that thumbs up anybody who just joined us if you are enjoying the content go ahead and hit that thumbs up and again like i said if you have not done so yet hit the little bell for the subscriptions we would uh love to have you in here i always enjoy interacting with people on the channel and um you know the more people in the chat up here the better in my opinion so we'll see make sure i'm not missing anybody over on twitter looks like mostly just washer watchers viewers got dodger 79 irish luck goon to me experience life phil petrozino i can't read that name <laughs> uh, all kinds of people on twitter thanks for thanks for watching guys really appreciate the uh really appreciate the attention and uh give us a share give us a share retweet give us a share etc that's how you get eligible for those crypto drawings and we'll do that here in about 15 minutes um all right let's see what else do we got here um you mean the dead projects will finally uh, just okay so i'm a, i'm a little curious joseph natty are you saying monarch wallet is a dead project oh that's that's yeah hit the likes it doesn't cost you anything and if you like our content it does help us out um more people watching our channel means we can put better content out so the the, the more people watching the better and uh you know the, honestly guess the best the best compliment you can pay me is to tell your friends that this is the channel they should watch get them to subscribe so anyway all right um let's get back over to it here so yeah ripple um yeah guys i, I don't i've I, i'd get in ripple for a swing but uh we just hit a sell signal actually did we just hit a sell signal Yeah, yeah, we did just hit another sell signal. So looks like that's going to break down a little bit further. And uh, yeah, I already posted the bear cross on the four hour, two hour. I'm just looking at the histogram on the MACD here, guys. Um, stochastic, yeah, bottom is falling out of this. It's, it's well oversold at this point, but uh, looks like it's still got further downside to go to me. Um, let me squish this wave trend a little bit. Yeah, that just there's there's nothing indicating that this is going to go back on the positive side anytime soon. Just bleeding, just bleeding, bleeding. So, uh, yeah, uh, Ripple, and you know, guys, again, I think Ripple is a, I think Ripple is a good scam by the banks to get you to give the give them your Bitcoin. So I I don't get involved with Ripple, but. Uh, I have sw I have swung trade it a few times, but yeah, looking like that's just got further down to go to me. So uh, I would I would not be looking to enter any position on that. I, I'd be looking to stop out of that actually at this point before it goes any lower. Mew wallet, plug in Monarch wallet. Okay, cool. Yeah, in fact, so on that note, um, that's that's what the walkthrough. So just so you guys know, uh, here in fact, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, I can't I can't show it just yet because I'm still waiting for um, one final uh one final verification but uh give me just a moment here and let me uh let me sneak in and i'll just give you a quick little uh quick sneak preview of it bear with me one moment Okay, so uh, just to give you, a, I'm gonna speed through this. We'll just do some quick clicks. So again, this is gonna be live, hopefully by Friday. Um, but going through MetaMask, going through the Trezor, uh, gonna take a look at PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Um, then we start to walk through some of the mobile wallets, Bread, Monarch, etc. So lots of uh, lots of cool stuff in there, guys. Very excited to release that. But um, just gotta get a. Um, 
verify a little bit more information on it before I publish it live. So anyway, uh, if you're curious about which wallets are uh, useful, or at least what kind of comparison we can make between some of the wallets, I've got that in store for you, and uh, that will be coming live this week, hopefully. So um, we'll do a Monarch wallet walkthrough, and uh, if you guys don't have that yet, you can go get it right now on the App Store um, for free for uh, on for on the Apple App Store, and the Android version should be coming soon. Um, ETC seems like the best bet for the next couple of days. I don't know. Personally, I'd be taking profit on ETC. Um, after I looked at it yesterday and it was way, way run up. And, uh, you know, today was supposedly the listing date and it didn't happen. Um, so I would, here's, here's how I would play this. Um, yeah, I would, I would wait. I wouldn't get involved in this trade yet. I think for me, if I was going to get involved in the ETC trade, I'd probably put some buys down at around... Uh, and I'm just doing this in USD value because that's what I got it up here on. But I, I'd, I'd put them in, you know, I'd maybe ladder some buys between like 1320 and mm, maybe 14, 1440 roughly and just wait for it because I, I think you're probably going to see that. Uh, I think I, I think we'll probably see that come down a little bit by the rumor sell the news. Right. I mean, it's basically we'll, we'll there's there's definitely still some more potential for upside there. Um until it gets listed i think the day the listing goes gets official i would probably uh stop out of a significant portion of my position there but um i think mm, i think i mean this is it's it's holding all right considering that bitcoin just took a dip but uh you know I, yeah I, I i don't know i don't know if i'd I'd be very careful, guys. I'd be very careful. So it, this is this is exactly how I'd play that. I'd be looking to put some buys in there. So I mean, what are we what are we looking at here? A potential for yeah, that's a that's a pretty huge potential. I'm mean, at fifty three percent, and in fact, that's even even if we're just doing it from where I said to put the buys in. So at like thirteen fifty, thirteen twenty, that's still almost forty percent gain. So that's what I'd look to. I'd I'd look to enter you know down there. Uh, and then just ladder out on the way up. That's what I'd be doing. But I, I would exercise caution in that, guys. I'm not. Again, I'm. I'm. I've. I've been. Uh, not really messing with any of the alts lately. Like the last thing I bought was ETH. At uh, I caught it on a bounce at 460 for a very very small piece of ETH. Not even a whole ETH. Um, so anyway. All right. Let's see. Oh, it did happen. Main Coinbase in one to two weeks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't even looked on my. I haven't. I haven't been on my trading accounts much, other than you know, just to, uh, like I said, that the Coinbase Pro recently. But that that was it. Other than that, I just um, I haven't. I haven't been trading. I've been watching the market and waiting. I've been putting money in my. You know, I've been putting fiat in the account in anticipation for it. But I, I just haven't done much trading lately. Just watching it and kind of trying to decide whether it's time to re-enter the market. I definitely have a significant amount of fiat sitting in my Coinbase. Um, waiting to re-enter the market but now's not the time not, not for me yet not for me yet all right let's see what else um let's see it's almost six o'clock so working about 25 minutes yeah all right guys if there's anything you guys want to see right now um i'll take a look at cardano because i see that up there uh we just looked at etc and uh using coin seed depositively invest crypto with roundups on my bank account India yeah you know Joseph I don't mind that kind of thing I think it's a I think it's a um, uh, I think it's a decent model right I mean as long as you make sure you've got enough money in your bank account to cover it you don't want to end up with some overdraft fee because it rounded up or something but hopefully you're not operating in that tight of a margin anyway um, but yeah it, um, I think uh, it's not a bad look. Uh, it's certainly, you know, when I first got into trading crypto, I just got into it with beer money, right? I was like, all right, if I just stop drinking for the next three months and all the money that I would have spent on going boozing with my friends to the bar or whatever, or getting a beer with dinner here and there, I'm just going to put that into the market. Um, so it's a similar sort of strategy, right? Just round off, use the money that you're not, that, use money that you're not, that you're already spending that you're not really going to miss, right? It's not about allocating uh, additional resources. It's about figuring out where you can reallocate resources. Um, or in this case, you know, it's rounding off. So if it's rounding off a quarter, 50 cents, dollars here and there, I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, so yeah, CoinSeed, how do you like the app? Is it interesting? Is it a nice interface? Um, I know Robinhood does that. Uh, um, 
yeah, I've seen a couple of different ones that are that are trying to do that. So always curious. Tell us about a time you got wrecked. Okay, I'll tell you about a time I got wrecked. Um, so again, when I was learning, so I, I learned a lot of lessons cheap. So it wasn't really wrecked, uh, but it was definitely I I blew up. I, it was a total waste, right? So I'll tell you three different coins that I got involved in that were sh before I really knew what I was doing to research, um, and I fell for it, right? So um, I got wrecked on Einsteinium because I fell for the McAfee pump, right? That happened. Yep, sure did. Fell for the McAfee pump, and uh, I have a bag of Einsteinium on, on Bitrex that will probably stay there for the rest of forever unless it gets pumped again at some point, and hopefully I'm paying attention that day. Um, let's see, what else have I gotten wrecked on? NXT. I got into NXT because I thought designated proof of stake was a great idea when I first heard about it, uh, or at least had a lot of potential, um, being able to stake tokens. I like being able to be rewarded for staking. Um, and it, it just seemed like, you know, with, with using child chains, et cetera, it seemed like it could have a use, proper use case in enterprise, like corporate, but it's done shit. So, uh... Unfortunately, that's another bag. So, in fact, I finally did get a chance to clear out of my NXT position, but as a result of that, I got airdropped some Ignis. So I have some Ignis sitting in my Bitrex that I have, uh, like, literally, I would have to buy more of it to be able to sell it. That's how little I have. So, oh, you know, most point. Um, and uh, I think those are really the only two big ones that I got wrecked, wrecked on. Um, what else? There's definitely ones that I've, you know, I've, I've learned the chasing, I've, I've FOMO'd in, I'm trying to think specifically what coins I tried to FOMO and chase a pump. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. But, uh, you know, on that note, guys, learn those lessons cheap, right? Learn those lessons cheap. Learn them with $25. Learn them with $50. Don't learn them with $1,000 or five grand or 50 grand. Learn those lessons cheap. And if you are a new trader that comes from a lot of wealth, I recommend start small. Don't go big. Learn your lessons cheap and whatever cheap is for you. Um, but learn them cheap and learn them early because it sucks to learn the lessons further down the road. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So let's see. All right. Let's take a look at Cardano. Let's take a look at Cardano. Um, so here was a falling wedge that I saw, geez, it's been a week or two, I guess now, maybe oh. one, two, three, four, five, eh, seven days. Um, so we saw three days ago, a buy signal, but really hasn't really done much. Um, let's look at it in the smaller intervals. Uh, maybe, I don't know this, uh, This is not good. Well, I don't know. Actually, I could. This, given this, this has gone in a bullish direction, and we, it seems to just bounce off this support here at about what is that, eighteen hundred and thirty sats. Um, and it does seem like the. Uh... So here's my concern with this. Um, I see, I see buy pressure is falling off over to the sell side and um, I see that it is oops I don't need a line there what the heck so I see the histograms already started to curl, curl over on the four hour that's a pretty hefty cup and again if we look at these smaller intervals not giving me a lot of confidence that that's going to turn around um, So yeah, I mean if if yeah, I don't I don't know that I'd enter a trade on Cardano right now. Again, if I were if I were gonna, I might consider putting in some buys clear down at the uh 1700 maybe up to 1730 uh, with a targeted exit of Where is it at right now? Yeah, basically 1850, so Potential 10% gain, but mm, I'd be careful. I'd be careful. Um, Cardano has done really well. Um, they did have a bunch of good news come out lately. Um, I was watching an interview with Charles, and they've, they've done fairly well considering they really don't have a product yet. Uh, I would really like to see these guys um, get their mainnet live is what I would really like to see.
I'd really like to see their main net get live. Um, yeah, so, Jim, you must be new. Uh, I don't make long-term predictions. That's uh, foolish. But why? I don't... I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I, I, I make predictions about three, four days out because that's about how far anybody realistically can see into the future. Anybody that tells you they know what Bitcoin's going to be worth at the end of the year, anybody that tells you they know what Bitcoin's going to be worth next year, anybody that tells you they know exactly where the bottom of the market is or where the market is heading, anybody that says that, you should take that with a grain of salt because they don't. They don't. This is the flat out, this is just the flat out truth. So you have a lot of... Uh, you, you have a lot of... Um, snake oil salesmen that are selling you the answer that uh you know they're great salesmen or they're a great cult of personality i mean and this goes for me too guys i'm just a dude on youtube so you know i i try to give you the most honest unbiased opinions and and best feedback that i can but uh realistically don't just take my word for it please don't just please don't come on here listen to where i say i'm gonna make my trades and then go plan all your trades by that hopefully we all do well together but like realistically guys seriously you should be you, you should watch me and say I like this opinion. I like what you know. I like what he says for these reasons, and then maybe listen to a couple other people's opinions. If if consensus says that uh, that it, you know this, if if everybody's saying the same thing, then you know chances are maybe that's a little more accurate. But uh, again, do your own research and always form your own opinions, guys. It, it, opinions like mine are educated and hopefully helpful in helping you form your own opinions. But don't just take my word for it. Yeah, Charlie Lee sold me snake oil too, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, who was it? Matthew, you asked me about Litecoin. That's what I think about Litecoin. I think it has no further use case in the market. I think, um, what, what is the point of this token at this point, guys? Really? I, uh, I'm really glad that I sold my last set. I'm, I'm, I'm still sitting in, uh, definitely still sitting in some Litecoin, but I think I've maybe only got like five of them left, something like that. Um, I started to clear out my bags. In fact, um, geez, I don't know. You'd have to go back. It's been probably a month and a half now, but uh, I cleared out a fair amount of my Litecoin at the last pump um, and moved it into BNB. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Litecoin is a test net for BTC. Well, I, that's funny. I think, I mean, really, so here's, this is, this is really what I say about Litecoin, guys. What do we see? What do we see here? Look at this chart. Bitcoin. Look at this chart. Litecoin. It's almost exactly the same, only not as good, right? So, like, what is the point of this coin? It's faster than Bitcoin, you say? Great. Guess what? So are a million other tokens that I use. Um... It's transaction fees are cheaper than Bitcoin, you say? Great. So are a number of other tokens on the market. Like I just, this, I was, I had a use case for Litecoin in December of 2017. And that use case was to say, how much of my Bitcoin do I want, or how much Bitcoin do I want to buy? I would buy that much Litecoin and I would send it to Binance or I would send it to Bittrex so that I didn't have to pay the Bitcoin, um, that I didn't have to pay the Bitcoin network fees at the time because they were exorbitant, to say the least. So, uh, yeah, I, I just that was the use case for it was cheaper transact or uh, ch cheaper network fees to to transfer it around. And uh, now that's over. So uh, Charlie Lee selling his Litecoin really uh, was I, I should. I should have listened. I'll tell you this much. Any other CEO of any project, if they ever sell their tokens again, I'm se immediately selling. Immediately. Because let's put it this way, guys. If you were a stock trader and the CEO of the company sold all of his stock, would you still hold the stock of that company? Because if you are the CEO of the company, you should have an incentive for that to perform well, in my opinion. Uh, no skin in the game means no incentive. I don't care how much he says it's his baby. Um, it doesn't help investor confidence. So I have no further use for Litecoin. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just watching, waiting for the next time it pumps up to close the rest of my bags out. I will say this. Uh, perhaps if at some point uh, down the road 
Bitcoin gets super expensive on their network fees again, and I need to very quickly be able to take money off my Coinbase and send it over to one of the other exchanges I trade on, maybe I'll use Litecoin again. But until then, I don't see the point. That is my opinion. That is my opinion. So, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people give me a thumbs down when I when I say bad things about their favorite bag. <laughs> so I hope I hope you guys are not, I hope you guys don't smash the thumbs down because uh because you're not happy with what I say whether I like it whether I like your favorite project or not I'm just being honest um, and you know this is what I do for a living so um, I'm trying to give you the best educated feedback I can anyway all right so let's see no LTC is in ramp mode yeah yeah thanks thanks ryan sorry guys i am in rant mode today i was about to give away some some uh, crypto and get the heck out of here so all right enough enough rants for me today guys <laughs> enough rants for me um let's uh let's do so what did we say um bo -bo -bo. yeah it's not a popularity contest and realistically guys i i hope I hope by the time the bull market turns around and all those shit shills that have been selling you garbage coins to pump their bags for so long and you guys, you know, all the other people realize it. I hope maybe they, they decide, you know what? You know who doesn't shill us garbage? Cryptosomniac. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, um, did I have any other? Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. Um, I'll tell you what. You wanted my opinion on Tron? Come on over and join us in the Cryptosomniac Advantage. What is the Cryptosomniac Advantage? It is our um, it is our private program. So uh, Cryptosomniac Advantage, you can join on Cryptosomniac.com. Just go to the little rocket there and click it, and it gets you in. You would have you would have access to all of the different reports that we have. So here we've got Digibyte, Decred, GoChain, Zilliqa, Espresso, A Chain, Mobius, Publica, hundreds more in there, guys. Seriously, we've got so many reports. So if you want to know what we found, like what kind of digging we've done on any of these projects, um, those are all in there, and you can download it and um, more importantly is our discord group so uh, as you can see in the discord server we've got very active traders you know talking about different um, uh, positions that we are looking to take uh, we've now opened up a department we have a gentleman uh, who is a specialist on bitmax for shorting we do user requested ta so when you know just like this you guys like having the live stream in your pocket and you want to be able to uh, get heavy duty ta at a moment's notice it's all there in the in the uh, in the Cryptosomniac Advantage for you. Trader talk. Look at that. So here's this is this is me making my call on uh, Zero Exchange a little bit earlier today. Come on over and join us, guys. You can get into the free lounge right now. The Discord link is below in the comments. You can join for free. Uh, we will be leaving the the um, free Discord lounge open, and uh, we welcome you over to uh, to to jump in and and see if you like the community as it stands. If you've already got a Discord ID. Just click the link below and you can join right up see if you like it um there is the free lounge and there is the uh, moon lounge so the free lounge uh that's what you have access to under the free server uh pop on in see if you see if you like it see what you think we'd love to have you anyway all right so um I think that about wraps it up for me, guys. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to talk Tron or any other coins, you want to be able to uh, have us chart your coins at a moment's notice. We'd love to have you in the Cryptosomniac Advantage. And otherwise, it's time to give away some crypto. It's time to give away some crypto. Um, so, how do we give away crypto? Very simple, guys. Down below, down below in the comments, leave me a comment and your ERC twenty address. That is one of those big fun alphanumeric codes uh on twitter give me a uh retweet and on facebook give me a share and you will be eligible so um we did have a number of people watching yesterday and uh let's give them some crypto so one through three random number generator close my eyes click it three times one two three survey says looks like number three so facebook and on facebook we have only two shares guys it's a piece of cake to win crypto these days um derek cervantes or nicole powell so one of two people close my eyes and click it three times survey says number one oops all right derek cervantes Ah, that guy just won so look guys you can even win in a short order because uh there's not a lot of people entering right now might as well. Why not? 
What have you got to lose? You definitely got some free crypto to gain. And with that, guys, I am out of here. So, um, yeah, let's um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, to their Sam Bitcoin advertiser, don't worry, Snay's gonna come on tomorrow, guys. Ultimately, just get used to seeing me. We'll get, Sam will come back eventually. Snay will come on when he can, but otherwise, basically, I'm on the channel for the time being. So. Uh, if you hate me, I'm sorry. Uh, subscribe, hit the little bell, look for who's in the thumbnail. If you see my face, you know you don't have to watch. You can wait for Snay. But Snay will be on tomorrow. And um, so for everybody who's a Snay fan, tune in tomorrow. And uh, we will see you then. And uh, other than that, I, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. This is Jason for CryptoStomniac. Keep your stop losses tight. I'm out of here. What's up? Hey guys, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Monarch Token. Monarch is an all-in-one payment platform for merchants, consumers, and investors. The wallet is live now for Mac and PC, and also available for iOS on the App Store. Find out more about their ongoing private sale and upcoming token sale at monarchtoken.io. Guys, this is Jason from CryptoSomniac here to talk to you about our Advantage program. What is it? It's like carrying the live stream around in your pocket 24-7. We have full-time technical analysts and research staff regularly charting coins and looking into ICOs and upcoming projects to help you make your best decision. Don't miss out on the next bull run. Stay as informed as possible. Head over to Cryptosomniac.com slash advantage for your free 14-day trial now. Don't miss out. We'll see you in the Moon Lounge.